everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing a Gypsy Tarot reading today for a Facebook friend. So basically we will be doing three rows of eight cards each, eight cards per row. And the difference between these cards and my regular cards, the main difference, is that these cards are very straightforward. They're still open to interpretation. But they're a lot more direct and straightforward and they basically can give us an indication of how close something is to you um, in terms of like the near future or the distant future and we also can see whether something is in your immediate environment or whether it's far removed from you. So I'm going to be doing an extended reading, which means we're doing three rows of cards, like I said. And we will see what shows up. So the nice thing about these cards, what I figured, is that Spirit gives me the cards according to themes. You'll see what I mean a bit later, but basically they come out according to theme or topic. And I don't mean for them to come out that way, it just happens. All right, so your first card that you have is number 14, the Rider, which is a sure sign of good news. And then the other important thing that I need to mention is that the meanings depend on the cards surrounding other cards, if that makes sense. So you may have a good card, but it might be surrounded by negative cards, which could change the meaning. But I'll be able to see whether it's good or bad news. This is definitely good news coming your way. Wow, number one, the sun signifies happiness and popularity. See? Which is why I'm saying there's a specific topic or theme coming out here. Good news signifies happiness. I almost said success, but it is basically success. Um, good news, happiness, popularity... Prosperity is what comes to mind as well. All right, number 13. The snake indicates enmity and calamities, okay? The degree of which is governed by the distance of the card from the person. So this is exactly what I'm seeing here. Now, this is where you need to not look at the cards from one side only. Because, as I've explained in my other Gypsy readings, these cards basically were created, I think, many centuries ago. And, you know, the wording that the people used during those times, that's what features prominently here, or that's what comes out strongly here. Um, you know, people during those times knew about illness and death and the Black Plague and things like that. So these cards have a lot to do with robberies, theft, enemies, friends, things like that. But you need to look at the deeper meaning. And obviously I go according to what my guides tell me as well. So basically what I'm seeing here is a similar message that comes up for a lot of people that has come up for quite a few people. That is basically that there's good news, there's happiness. But just be aware of hidden enemies, of fake friends, of people who seem to be wishing you well, but they're actually, I don't want to say they're wanting your downfall, but there's a little bit of jealousy around you. Which is why I'm saying, ultimately this is a good group of cards, these three so far, with the good news and the sun, but it's saying just be aware that... Some people are not wishing the best for you. Exactly that, number 37, you see. The rapiers. Okay, so here they're using the word assaults. I don't like using that word. It's more like disagreements, conflict, things like that going on around you, battles that still need to be fought. But I feel like since you have these two cards, 
which are really bright and positive. It's basically saying that whatever hardships you may endure or whatever struggles you'll be faced with, you will ultimately overcome. It's actually saying that you have overcome all these things already. Remember that these cards are in your first row. So it's something actually that you're dealing with now or you have been dealing with. It's not going into the future. All right, number 32, that is exactly the energy I was sensing. And funny enough, this reading is very similar to the reading I did for your twin sister. So I did a gypsy reading, if I remember correctly, for this lady's twin sister. And something very similar came up, which is weird. Well, not actually, it's not actually weird, seeing as you are twins and everything, but... There's this message about overcoming hardships. I mean, here you have the mountains, okay? So here it talks about also enemies, but I feel like it's something to do with life's journey. Because, you know, the, life, the journey of life is not linear. It's ups, it's downs, sometimes more downs than ups. But it's basically saying that whatever mountains you encounter along the way, you have the necessary strength and courage to overcome those mountains, those struggles. All right, number 21. Oh, fantastic. The stalk denotes change of residence sooner or later based on the distance. So, okay, this card is in the first row. Which is telling me that this could be happening very soon. It is also two spaces away from your main card. Which really is telling me that there's some energy about changing residences or moving away, moving to a different home. Even if it's not going to happen soon, I feel like you've, you've been considering it for quite some time. Or someone else in your nearby environment has changed residence. But there's a message about that definitely. Oh, then you have number 42, the Cupid. Okay, it's a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. Whether you know who that person is or not, that we're not sure about, but you definitely have someone looking at you with great affection. All right, number eight, the scythe. Now, this card has its own meanings. I don't go according to those meanings because it's also very much outdated, I wanna say. Where it speaks about disappointment and things like that here, I see it as an ending because the scythe is about something being cut off. So I don't know if this is you Ending a certain cycle in your life and moving on to a new cycle. Or it has, <clears throat> pardon me, it has something to do with you changing residence. And that will be the ending of something. It's like the death card in normal tarot. It's like the grim reaper. So it's an ending that leads to a new beginning. But it's also like cutting ties with people who no longer serve you. Situations that no longer serve you. Transformation. I mean, death is normally transformation, right? So it doesn't have to mean disappointment, no. It, and it is not related to this Cupid card at all. It basically is cutting ties with people and situations that no longer serve you. And it also speaks about moving from one cycle of life to another cycle of life. Alright, stay tuned for part two where we will be selecting another eight cards. Thanks for watching.